ladies and gentlemen, you're very welcome. We get to see who will get to win that 20,000 Ghana CDs and also get to do the internship here, the three months internship at the Labadi Beach, and also the second place who would win the 10,000 Ghana CDs and also 5,000 Ghana CDs for the third position. We'd like to say a very big thank you to Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, and then we say what? Ilele. Celebrating Ghana's favorite seasoning, Onga, Mama's Helping Hand. Lily, this advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to see our contestants and our judges, we have Madame Linda and she'll give us the welcome address. She's the branch manager for Onga. A pleasant welcome to everybody here. It's so beautiful to have you here. On Galicious Ghana Cooks started in August 2019 through a series of evictions. Today we are here with the final four contestants. And we couldn't have done it without you. On behalf of Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, I wish all the four contestants the very best of luck. In our kitchen, we have the chef who is Stan, and then we have the chef who is a foodie. And then we have the consultant chef for this season, Chef Gary. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our judges. Overseas, you have your master chefs. Here we have Ongalicious Ghana Cooks. The last competition we did, the person who came into my kitchen, yeah, is now on my reference joined the army in England and cooking in England, representing Ghana. So you know what? It is worth, when we see things like that, it's a amazing. I want to thank all the nation Ghana, the tourism industry and everybody who has made it possible for this competition to come this far. We are here finally to meet and taste from our final contestants. The contestants are ready. We have Rafia too, Kanra, George, and Bismarck. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, let's meet our contestants. Hello, my name is Rafia too, and it's been amazing on, on Galicious. The journey has been kind of like a roller coaster because we bonded so well and then when the time comes for exhibition, it became very, very emotional because we became like a family. What are you preparing for us? I'm preparing fufu and granola soup. Fufu? Yes. Hey. It's a blessing to be on the show because it has given me so much exposure. Being the only female in the, in the final four, it's going to be very challenging. But at the end of the day, we have to show the guys the kitchen belongs to the girls. Is there a chance of we having some breast milk sauce into the jollof? You never know. <laughs> wow, that would be fantastic. Hello Ghana, my name is Kanajima and I'm from Axim in the Western region. Today is going to be the final and I must say that being in the final has been so exciting. Just needed something, to... just one thing to bring the whole meal together. Mar marry it together. Sure. That's what I think is getting me. sit as individuals. Yes. The competition has helped me a lot when it comes to our traditional dishes and their taste and how they should be plated. Hello Ghana, my name is Bess Magbordu from Kumasi. So far, it's been an exciting journey. We are here and we're up to the final, so we hope to kill it. I'm going to go to my mom's house and I'm going to go to my mom's house. And I'm going to go to my mom's house. 
It's really nice. And that's how they told me. As a chef, coming on the screens and learning from what I do always. And I remember one of the biggest hotels in Kumasi called me. That I think is a very big opportunity. And what's the idea with the vegetables? Uh, to bring out the colors on the plate. My name is George. I come from Mafi, Ekiapem. And I'm very excited to be among the four finalists for the Ongalicious Cooking Season 2. Your food is fine, it's beautiful, nice. but your fish, pet. It means there's a question mark on your fish. It has been so fun meeting people, those that we are doing the competition with. And then as a chef, it's also built a brand for me. George, you see the entrance here? Thank you very much for your passion, for your time, and everything in the competition. Thank you, yes, Andy. Have your apron. You are in for that. <laughs> no, this can't be. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my judges to tell the contestants what exactly they are expecting. For today, we are expecting that they are going to put up the lot of confidence that some of them came in without. They are going to put out the timing and the speed that is needed in the competition. Min to min chen, min ya janka sa in de we do iri you know we see we ya be ya di ya ba. We are looking for creativity. We are looking for taking Ghanaian food and fusing it to see what we can come up with presentation. Aquaba is the feeling of joy when you know you are home where you sleep in luxury and comfort and wake up to the breeze of the Atlantic Ocean. Aquaba to Labad Beach Hotel, where the food is fresh and the smiles are genuine. Now you know you are home. Ghana's finest five-star hotel, La Badi Beach Hotel, the legacy lives on. Each of you is going to receive a basket, and in the basket are some ingredients. These ingredients, mandatorily, you are supposed to produce a meal. We are not going to push you into what meal to produce. We want your creativity to be at its best. From hors d'oeuvres, through soups, through salads, through main meals and trees and desserts, you choose what you want to prepare. You have five minutes to write up your menu. The journey has been amazing. Lots of heat, tears, emotions, excitement, but particularly today, I'm sure that one, two, three persons among these four finalists will be walking home happy. We'd like to remind you that this show is brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, Ilili. In two minutes, you should be wrapping up with what you intend to cook. Viewers, what you see now on your screen is contestants writing out their menu for today. And when you finish writing your menu, just put it in front. When the judges come, we'll pick them up. Actual cooking can start. Chef George, take us through your menu. I have a pan fried tilapia, on bed of um, vegetables, and then red red puree. I'm having um, a cocktail salad, like a vegetables cocktail, cocktail salad. So, magic chef. Chef. Let us know what you are preparing for us. Okay, I'm preparing the curry oyster spring rolls as starter, and of course, 
uh, my semolina fufu with tilapia lice soup. Wow. Hey, Radzi Mepra. <laughs> Kandra. Chef. Western region for. I don't know what the Ongali are my hand. Ongano. First one here, uh, curry, clams, and uh, semolina puree. Don't we have a Ghanaian ingredient similar to semolina? Yes, yes we have. We have the uh, ekwek baby. Thank you. Ekwek baby is there. But you know, when it comes to corn and it comes to semolina, corn takes a longer time to cook. Semolina is lighter. Anything with hot water, you can cook it. You don't need even to put it on the fire. Baby mama, are you going to take us through all this? I'll try my best to. Wow. Do you have a game plan? Yes. Hey, sure. to the end, I am going to count down. And now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and hands up, stop work. <laughs> Contestant George, bring your plated food to the judges. I have a potential of winning because I'm taking this out. And when he comes, he's going to tell us exactly what he has prepared. So here I have a starter, which is a vegetables cocktail salad. My main course is uh, Tilapia fillet with uh, uh, red red sauce, which I did in I do the red dead puree separately and then the sauté. The sauté vegetables on top. Bismarck, bring your food. I have the potential of winning this competition, and of course, I'm going to win. So, I have curry, oyster, spring rolls as starter for today. And of course, I have the yam cheesecake with some little um, milk sauce, wooden with the sesame seeds. And then I have the main menu, which is uh, semolina fufu with uh, tilapia, tilapia light soup.
Bisman, I like your idea of uh, fufu tom. Just for your feedback, you have to develop that recipe as you go on. But it was a brilliant idea. I can just say one thing to you. Well done, mate. Yeah. Okay. The 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 creativity is there. You've got serious potential, man. And whether you win or lose, my kitchen is open for you, my friend. Thank you very much. You can take your food away. Um, Bismarck, what onga spice did you use before we go to Canara? Oh, with my starter, I use the, uh, curry. the curry. Yeah, to wrap the, the, this thing, uh, the oyster, together with the oyster. And of course, I use the onga classic for my for tilapia soup. Canara, Jima, let's have your food. Gone away because I had a strategy and I delivered the strategy very well. I have a starter, spicy uh, palm fried clams with a, a samolina theory. And uh, the main dish, I have the pan grilled grouper with a decontrasted bean stew, which I call the creamy bean stew, and the yam, yam theory. What onga products did you use and why? So, the starter, I used the onga three mix for the clams and the samolina. And the main dish, I use the onga momone for the, uh, the beans, theory, and the creamy, creamy stew. And that is? And that is uh, the coconut cheesecake. No samolina in there? No. So what is Kandra, did, yeah. did you have onga spice in your dessert? I actually used the Cowbell powder. The RODs become very tough. What happens is, especially with the local clam, yeah, yes, when sir. you when you when you cook it too long, okay, it becomes really really hard. Thank you. <laughs> I'm giving everything to Joe because he doesn't know how to taste. He wants to eat. Like I'm eating baby food. I'd have wanted some crunchiness in it. I think I have loved his um, his sweet samolina cheesecake or coconut cheesecake. It's coconut cheesecake. Yes, I think I have loved that. And um, the fish and the bean, the bean taste is very strong. It's slightly overshadowing if you eat it together. Other than that, I think the concept is beautiful. Congratulations and wish you well. Kendra, would you allow me? to take this dessert that you did and play with it for my kitchen. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. The dessert, my friend, is brilliant. Thank you, Chef. Well done. And whether you win or not, a position in my pastry kitchen will be available. Thank you, Chef. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Rafia to all the way from Baku. I believe I can win because I've done a lot of research, I've done a lot of experiments with my ingredients, and I'm ready to wow the judges. Rafia, to tell us what you have plated in front of us. For, for starters, I made a clam and momoni chowder with a bit of mint. I used my onga classic and my onga momoni for the, for the chowder. And for the maize, I did a stuffed tilapia with the lamb and then uh, with a sticky yam and a black eyed bean salad with a uh, onga stew um, gravy. And then for the dessert, I, have a, I had a bisap and mango jam in my mystery box, so I use it for a dessert with a peanut butter sauce. A little bit of refineness. This could actually be a very, very, very nice dish. Thank you, Chef. And again, I want to taste it first, but a combination with fish and lamb, I would also like to try and use your dish. Thank you, sir. So, Rav, what sauce do you have in your grilled onions? That's an onga stew um, in a gravy, in a puree form. Madame, very, very, very creative. It's what we've been looking for. 
Your dessert is very, very clever. Thank you, Chef. Your starter, your soup, I think, was very good. Yeah. The clam flavor was outstanding. The taste generally was good. Two, the main dish was creative. When it comes to the fish and lamb, I think the salt was a bit too high. But your dessert and your starter is extremely brilliant. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and honor to invite the MD for Promocidor to talk to us, Mr. Festus Titi. We are all here today because of our collective belief in projecting our Ghanaian cuisine. These individuals are the ones who feed us and Onga believes that they should be empowered. This is one of the core objectives of the Ongalicious Ghana Cooks TV show. Ongalicious Ghana Cooks, I can confidently say that has come to stay. And I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the latest adjective in our culinary global diction, which stands for the deliciousness of food, the word Ongalicious. As we know, we are on a journey of promoting Eat Ghana. We launched this sometime in 2017 in June. That we should see Ghana first, eat Ghana, wear Ghana, and feel Ghana. And so we've been following this competition as something that helps the cause of promoting that initiative. So we want to thank you so much for this. I want to thank Labadi Beach Hotel for hosting. Akofa is here, she'll say a few things. I must say it's exciting to be here and also um, to be here to see what they've all been able to produce out of the kitchen. Um, the creativity, like the judges said, is overwhelming. I mean, we were really, really, I mean, this is, this is standard you see in the hotels, like Labadi, so well done. And thank you, Onga, as well. Uh, for putting Ghana out there. <laughs> Chef Gary is showing me that they've collated the results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also going to invite the commercial director, Samir Sadawi, who will be helping us in presenting the certificate for participation and also a huge hamper that they would use for Christmas for their families and also explore more recipes. <laughs> Now, it's only fair that we also present um, certificates of participation to our four finalists. Is that right? All right, so let's have our contestants in front of their workstation. Chef Joe. Ungalicious. The highest. Got 222 total. The second person came up with a total of 204. The third, 190. And the fourth, out of the hundreds of contestants that entered the competition, came out with a total of a whooping 171. I just want to ask the contestants uh -huh. and, the, and the people here, can we please give them all amazing hand of applause? Well done, well done. Believe you me, if you think it's easy cooking under pressure and cooking in a kitchen like this, it is not. Not so you are all. all winners today, my friends. Congratulations, congratulations to all of you. So, with 171 total, the four contestants that takes the fourth position and to be given the award honored by Chef Michael, the sexy chef, is Bismarck. Where do you give all the applause? Bismarck, where do you came for? Out of the hundreds of contestants that entered the competition, congratulations! Bismarck Buedu came forth with a hooping 2,000 Ghana, Ghana CDs. CDs. Congratulations, Bismarck! Osekrom, you have represented 
Congratulations, Bisba. Congratulations. We would invite Manyet Nade Abla with a hundred and ninety marks. The third position. The third position goes to Shadow. Congratulations, George. In third place, 5,000 Ghana cities. This is the proper Obini Yim. Shall I invite the MD from Fumasida to help us do the presentation for and the this first runner up? That's right. The ultimate winner with 222 of the 2019 Ongalisha Ghana Books competition is... Many years ago, whilst cooking, Grandma will put some spice that makes the food taste so good. Coffee. One day I asked Grandma, Grandma, why is your food always tasty? It's my secret spice. <laughs> Mommy, why is your food always delicious? Sweetheart, it's Onga, my secret spice. Mm. This is Onga-licious. Onga comes in classic Onga. stew, shrimps, and chicken powder, as well as shrimp tablets for great tasting meals. Onga, Mama's healthy man. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. How did you, how are you faring? And how are you faring? Thanks. I can feel the heartbeat mm. even under my feet on the floor here. Wait, 222. The first position, 2019, Ongalicious Ghana Cooks goes to Rafiatu. Congratulations, Rafiatu. the second award. Congratulations all Congratulations. contestants. You have done extremely well. 10, you have Ghana done CDs. extremely well with 10,000 Ghana CDs. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Akopa. Thank you. Congratulations, Rafia Tu. We know Rafia Tu as the baby mama. Where is the baby? The little chef. Where is our little chef? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, both of you are welcome in my kitchen. Thank you very much, Chef Gary. He is Thank you very much. We are so grateful. And congratulations to Rafi Atu. I've learned so much on this show. I've learned how to place better. I've learned how to mix my spices. And I've learned how to use my onga spices very well. With this price, I'm going to start my own Ongalicious kitchen. So watch out for me, Ghana.